Hi folks, my name is Arnold. I'm going to show you how to merge raster layers using QGIS 3.10. So why do you merge our raster? For instance, we have downloaded our digital version model. So we need to merge them. For instance, they are like two or three, four, five. So we need to merge them so that we can work with them together during this raster analysis. So before that, we need some important requirements. We need the QGIS app, which is installed already in my PC. Then the DEM, the digital version model should be more than one. So getting back to our steps now, we have three steps here. We have raster. We need to roll a raster layer in the QJS, then go to the menu bar, browse for miscellaneous, then merge our data. So getting back to our hands on the app now, this is my app, QJS. So what I'm required to do is to roll my raster layer. So I will just move from layer, add layer, add raster layer here, and I'll browse. Okay, for instance, I'll choose, okay, uh, this one, 27, 26, open them, two of them, okay, then add. So I have them added already here. Okay, ignore this. So these are the raster layers which I'm going to merge them. See. So now getting back to our PowerPoint here tells us that we need to go to raster, then miscellaneous, then merge. Just like that, simple like that. So let us go to our QJS app here. Then that means we need to go to raster here on the menu bar, then miscellaneous, then merge. See? Very simple like that. So we have it here already. So this is it. So input layers, you need you need to browse here which layers are you inputting for merging. So for me, I have two of them. So I'll click here, select all, or you can, if you have many, for instance, five, five six, seven, you can select which one to merge, which one not to merge. For, for me, in case, it's just two of them, so I'll select all. Then I'll press OK. Then grab pseudo color, you can just leave this by default. Then output data type, float 32, text by default. Then there's another thing here, I input value to treat as no data. No data, this means like, I mean like to ignore values for instance if it's zero to ignore it I'll just I'll just do I'll just do it and show you how it works so assign specific value to output so to output for instance if I say not set so I'll show you why what happens so if I say not set then I push the run button here see I'm merging now without assigning any no data value let us wait for it okay now this is the output so you can, you can you can look at the rasters here we have 487 1354 so the the i mean the average the elevation there is no any zero elevation but looking at our output for instance if i uncheck this we have zero here you see here these blacks these blacks i can call them black spots here you see they are zero why is it zero because there is no data there is zero so it assumes that all this pixel is zero so getting back to our powerpoint i can i can i can explain this it's like this what happened it's like there is zero 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 so it just merge all these zeros and these are the pixels which are like elevation so it has tried to merge all of it so it has combined one raster into one single merged file so now i'll show you on the case of the right how to keep it proper how to make it to ignore the zeros so as to make it very beautiful presentable so i'll go back i'll do the merging again so that means i'll remove this here move layer then i'll check again so we'll do the merging again, okay? So merging again, as usual, we go to raster, miscellaneous, then merge, voila. Then click here, then select all, okay? Then this is flow 32. Now, the output assigned is specified. So that means it should no data for the values which are zero, for instance here. You see, I have, have zero data here. That means it should ignore. So that means it will merge perfectly my data accordingly because to show such, such a thing so if everything by default you can do this classification you can do another stars then it will save it temporarily then push the run button so upon pushing the run button now for my elevations wow okay now we have this so when i just uncheck this and i check this now have it proper because previously we had these two of them which are like this then that means now this one here it's like this so you see, just like that. So going to our PowerPoint here, you see it's some, something like this. So we have elevations here. That means the 0, 0, 0 are ignored because they are like no data. So the raster pixels are treated like there is nothing. So nothing is there. And actually, when you look at, if we put, try to put an open strip map here, you see that this, because there is some elevation, obviously. So dragging it here, you see. So there is value. It's not in the ocean. It's not zero meter. You know how it, how it works. So I'll just do the visualization here as usual. Let's try to give it a visual impression. Move my color ramp, then apply, okay. So this is it. 
So you have merged your raster layer. Now it's just like that, simple like that. So now we're done merging the raster layer. What you're required now is just to do some practices. You can just load different raster layers and see this is the PowerPoint showing how this not appropriate merge no data effect. This is how it will look like. And appropriate, that means it will have elevation pixels like this. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Actually, please subscribe my channel. I'll be dropping more videos and different aspects, programming, data analysis, data visualization, all the interesting stuff in the world. So I'll be doing it. So you just subscribe my channel. You'll enjoy a lot. Thank you a lot.